again. So Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be discussing a couple of functions which are very important if you would like to manipulate text within your tables. We'll be focusing on two main functions. First one is when you want to club couple of strings together. And the function that we are going to use for that is called concat. And second one is when you have to separate a long string on the basis of a certain delimiter. And the function that we're gonna use is called split. To help you understand in a better manner, I'm going to first show you a simple example and then apply that same function on a table to manipulate string in a certain column. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's just quickly jump into it. The first function that we're going to cover is called concat. And let's say I'm writing a select statement here and I have two strings here. First one is big and second one is query and I want both of them to be clubbed together. To club two strings or two or more strings together, the function that we're going to use is called concat. And then within that, I'm going to supply these values in it. And if I run this, the final output should club both of them together. As you see, now the final output says BigQuery. Let's go to a table. I'm going to use Open Powerlifting. Link will be in the description in case you want to download the data and follow along. Let's say I want to create a new column within this table, which will have name and the sex column clubbed together. And I don't want to club it just like that. I would like to club it with an hyphen in between. So first the name and then a hyphen and then the sex. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to come back to this and I'm going to remove this and say select star from open power lifting. But apart from star, I also need to create that new column. So I'm going to say concat and within values, I'm going to say name and I need a hyphen. So I'm going to enter a hyphen here within single quotes or double quotes, whatever you'd like. And then my second column, which is the sex column. Okay. And if I run this, it has given me all the columns which are there in the table originally, but then at the end it has created a new column with my name field and my sex field with a hyphen sign in between so that I can distinguish what is the name part and what is the gender part. So this is how you concatenate two or more strings together to generate a new output in a new column. Now what if you would like to distribute your column? Okay, on the basis of certain delimiter. So I'm going to use this same table here. And within this table, I have a column called equipment here, which has a value of single ply. Okay, I would like to distribute this string into two columns. First column should have single in it and second one should have ply in it. So how will I do that? I'm going to say select. I'm going to use this function called split. And Within this, I'm going to enter the column name, which I want to split. So let's say equipment. And I would like to give it a delimiter by which I would like to split the values. Here, the delimiter is an hyphen sign. And I'm going to say from open power lifting. And if I run this, it will give me the results. And because there are so many results, I would have to filter this data out. I'm going to say where equipment like single. I'm going to run this. Now, if you see, wherever we had single ply, it has split the value into an array. Okay. But this is not what we wanted. We wanted it to split into multiple columns. First one, first column should have single value in it. And the second column should have ply value in it. Okay. So in order to convert your array, which was created by the split function into a column, you need to use a function called offset. So after this, I'm going to say a square bracket and write offset. 
Now the offset function identifies a particular value or an item from a relative position that we have supplied within an array. So since an array starts with value 0, I'm going to say offset 0 because I want the value which is at position 0 in my array. Okay. And the 0 position in my array is nothing but single. Okay. So I want to identify the value which is there in offset 0 and I can give it a name as well. Let's say as first value. Okay. And I will give it a comma here and copy this, this entire piece. In the second line, I'm going to say offset 1 because the value in the first position of this array is ply. And I want that in a different column. So I'm going to say second val. Okay. And that's it. And I'm going to run this. So if you see, it has converted my array into two columns now. First val and second val. But there is an important piece that we need to understand here. We gave it a filter saying that I only want the value which has single in it. Okay. But what if I apply the same onto the entire table? This will give me an error. Okay. Let's see. It's saying array index one is out of bounds. That is because for single ply, it did identify array in position 0 and 1 but for other items where we did not have any hyphen value in it the split function only gave one value in it so it runs this line perfectly because array 0 it found some value in those fields but in offset 1 it did not find any value because there was no value to be found to begin with okay so if i give you an example it finds something for single ply, but let's say for this value raw, it did find something on the zero array position, but there was nothing to be found in the first array position. Okay. So that's why it's giving that error. To resolve this as error, we're going to use a different offset function, which is known as safe offset. Okay. Now what this does is it counters that error and inputs null wherever it did not find a value in that particular array position okay so i'm going to run this again now it will run perfectly fine as you see i have values like scraps raw and others to follow which is there in the first value column but for the second value i have null values okay now since there are so many row items uh, i don't want all the row items i want a distinct value for each equipment that I have. So I'm going to say select distinct and that's it. And I'm going to run this. This will give me the unique equipments that I have in that column and split it into first file and second file. So if you see single ply has been split perfectly, raw and wraps and straps do not need to be split because they only had one value. So that's why they have value in first file, but nothing in second file. But for single and multiply we have values in second val as well so i hope you understood how we used text manipulation function to concatenate and split values this will be very useful when you are analyzing your data and have scenarios where you want to club multiple strings together or split strings using a certain delimiter to arrive at a certain analysis or create a certain chart or visualization so that's it for today if you found value in this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you don't miss any videos that I upload. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.